Hello, my name is Tatiani Brown, and I did my project on Jacob Lawrence, specifically the painting, The Builders and the Family, that was created in 1974. A little bit about Jacob and his early life. Um, he was born in 1917. He died in 2000. He was born in Atlantic City, then in his early life he moved to philly his parents split up so he later on went to harlem new york so he was raised in harlem his mom really wanted him to get connected to his art side so she signed him up for an after school art program He dropped out of school at the age of 16, but he continued taking classes at the Harlem Art Workshop with the, un, um, he was under the mentorship of Charles Austin, an artist. He was the first African American to join the gallery, um, which was Edith Halper Downtown gallery in 1942 he then was drafted in world war ii um in the united states coast guard he was um briefly stationed in florida and massachusetts he documented the world and him in the war um this is where he received a guggenheim fellowship and painted his war series this um, at the far bottom on the left is one of his paintings in the World Series, the War Series. The first painting on the left is the Migration Series, which he started in 1937 and he won a scholarship. The top left corner is called the migration of the negro but it's part of the migration series and the one to the far right is the builders the family in 1974 the one that i specifically talked about in this painting he showed a family of four and three builders doing their work um, jacob lawrence really captured the life of African Americans um, through his eyes, through his lens, and he really explained through his paintings the different struggles and different things, uh, just an everyday life of an African American in that time. This was a part of a series called The Builders. The Builders was created for a poster design for his solo um, exhibition at the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York City in 1974. This is an example of an intimate everyday scene. This is one of his everyday scenes that he has created, but this is So for him, Jacob Lawrence, the builders um, stood as hope and how he viewed African Americans and the future of the world. So he thought construction workers were the symbolism of the future and he really took in those men and just thought about those men who were construction workers and really and um, were inspired by them about how they kept going. In this painting, you can see that the whole painting is in unison. You see the construction workers in the back really working together. The four, the family of four, Midstride is in unison. 
and they move forward as one same with the construction workers and the um, coveralls they're working together to build something so that's kind of like the symbolism behind this painting here's a quote by Jacob Lawrence about the painting um, I like the sim I like the symbolism of the builder I think it is as man's aspiration as a constructive tool men building going back to this painting and back to the backgrounds of his painting um, most of his paintings were of African American well all of his paintings um, were African American like just in everyday life or just different things that um, were going on for example there was a lot of different stuff going on for the African Americans um, the Great Depression affected every group of Americans um, but no group was hit harder than the African Americans in 1932 approximately half of African Americans were out of work most northern cities whites called for African Americans to be fired from any jobs as long as there was whites out of work so it was a lot of racial violence and it became very familiar especially in the south um, there were a lot of lynchings and one of his in one of Jacob Lawrence's pa um, paintings he um, painted in the migration series he painted Harriet Tubman in one around the 50s fast forward into the 50s um, African Americans weren't it was still segregated then there was Brown versus board um, this was around this time the NBA color barrier was um, broken by um, Chuck Cooper and Nathaniel Clifton so a lot of these paintings that he did I didn't show them but a lot of these paintings were to symbolize African American life in America through the struggles, through the overcomings. Um, there was a lot of stuff going on for African Americans while he was alive, especially the 30s and the 40s and the 50s, and of course, so on and so forth. One thing that Jacob Lawrence did express was um, he did always stress the importance of personal experience to his creative efforts. Um, at the tender age of 18, he began exhibiting um, his work. He was one of the most prominent African American artists in the 1930s to the 1950s. So around that period of time, it was a lot of racial things going on. So he definitely painted those and put all that passion in his work. One example was um, he created a series called the Hospital Series. Um, he completed it in eighteen, I mean nineteen fifty in August, when he was in the mental hospital for because um, he had a mental breakdown from all this happening at a tender age of eighteen. He had a lot of fame within these years from the different series he did. So he checked himself in um, and created a series out of it. Most of his works, um, and especially in the 60s, um, responded to police violence, racial unrest, the backlash to school integration, and um, it connected to the civil rights movement in America. He traveled to Nigeria. This is where his migration series was um, being exhibited. Um, one thing about Jacob, he did travel a lot. So he went to Nigeria, Mexico. He went all around the world, um, especially later on in his career. He went all around the world to show people, um, teach, just educate, and just learn himself. A quote that really stuck with me was, our homes were very decorative full of pattern, like inexpensive throw rugs, and must have had some influence. All this color and everything, because we were so poor, the people used this as a means of brightening their life. I used to do bright 
patterns after these throw rugs i got i got ideas from them the i don't know how to say that word the movement and so on so this just resonated with me because this explains um where some of his ideas came from and some of his inspiration came from other than him being black in america this really shows what um, african americans held not so much valuable but some of the valuable things like especially um decorating their houses because that is a big thing but yeah